How you doing guys? Dragon Man here. I'm in my hot rod museum and uh, I just bought another hot rod and it got delivered uh, yesterday and I'm going to show it to you guys. So today we're going to talk about uh, tea buckets. Uh, this one here is a uh, 1923 all metal tea bucket. See this is a magnet I have and uh, this is a rag so I won't scratch the paint and uh, here watch that. See that? See all metal. That's how you tell if the car's metal with the magnet. It's not plastic. Okay, this has a uh, Ford motor in it with a blower on it. Very fast car. And uh, let's uh, let's go around the other side here. I want to show you a couple more tea buckets. I think I have like uh, five of them now. We opened the museum in uh, Jan uh, let's see in April and. Uh, all my cars, all my displays here with the Hot Rod Museum uh, is included with the tour with the Military Museum. So maybe I'll see you guys this summer. Okay, this is a 1923 T-Bucket and it's got a, a 3D3 stroker motor in it. And uh, this one's a, a kit car. It's, a, it's all plastic fiberglass uh, with a custom uh, box chassis. And it's got a, a 3D3 stroker motor in it, turbo 400 transmission, Chevy rear end. This is the oldest hot rod I have right now. Uh, it's a 1918 all metal. Yeah, see the magnet? See that? All metal. See, it's got a little door over here. That's pretty cool. And this one's got a uh, Oldsmobile motor in it. See that? All metal. It's got three deuces on it, and uh, it's got a box chassis, and this is the oldest hot rod I have. And uh, this is 1918. See, it's got a tailgate on there that opens and closes. Okay, let's go around here. I want to show you a couple more. Yeah, I now have 104 restored gas pumps, 39 hot rods, 62 bicycles, and 52 pedal cars. That's a big accomplishment. Nineteen forty one Woolies. I have two of those now. Turtlebacks. This is a roadster turtleback. Yeah, let me show you that. See, this is a turtleback roadster. See the way the uh, the back is? They call it a turtleback. And uh, 1922 to 1927, uh, the roadsters and tea buckets had turtleback trunks. Okay, follow me. Okay, check out this tea bucket. Beautiful, beautiful tea bucket. See, and this one here is all metal too. Okay, here's the magnet. See that? All metal body. See, and it's got the little door here. And uh, see, this type of tea bucket, see, it didn't have a uh, turtle back or a, uh, a pickup bed in the back. And uh, this is a later one. This is uh, this would be uh, 1924. Okay, you guys ready to see my newest hot rod, number 39? Follow me, guys. Let's step outside. There it is. Isn't that a beauty? It's something I don't have, so I had to have it. And it's got a uh, small block 350 V8 motor in it, Chevy rear end, turbo 400 automatic transmission, brake drums all the way around, and this is really fast. Okay, we're going to uh, put some switches on. 
Yeah, check out the inside here. There we got the uh, blood. We got the radiator fan. We got the uh, fuel pump and ignition. And we're gonna uh, make sure it's in park or neutral. How's that, guys? Huh? Number 39. How many more hot rods am I gonna buy? I don't know. Maybe we'll get up to 50. <laughs> Yeah, these cars are buying them from all around the United States and having them shipped in. What a beautiful car. Okay guys, I just want to show you my newest hot rod. And uh, today's a nice day. It snowed a few days ago. Today's like 54 degrees. Another beautiful day in Colorado Springs. And uh, you guys have a great day.